show of support for Sierra everywhere with decals on cars and trucks with the words, we love you, Sierra. The guilty verdict of James Worley is the beginning of closure for her family. The Honorable Jeffrey Robinson reading back each count to the jury one by one, seeking their verbal confirmation and raising a hand to confirm each guilty verdict. James Worley guilty for killing Sierra Joggin on all 19 counts ranging from kidnapping, abduction to murder. When the judge read aloud this count, some of Sierra Joggin's loved ones began sobbing. Say that we find the defendant guilty of the offense of murder. This verdict capping an intense day of jury deliberations, nearly a month of this capital murder trial and a year and a half since Sierra's disappearance on July 19th of 2016. A show of purple as Sierra's loved ones wore her favorite color and uncle putting words to their grief and relief. Our hope through this painful process was to find justice for Sierra. Justice for her abduction and murder, justice for our family, and justice for the amazing community that so many of us live in. I want to express to you how pleased we are that justice has been served today and this murderer was found guilty on all counts. In the courtroom, tears and other emotions from everyone except James Worley. He remained stone-faced as he heard the jury's verdict and the four options during the upcoming sentencing phase. A death sentence, life in prison, life in prison with the possibility of parole at 25 or 30 years. You will need to make a determination as to whether or not the state has proven beyond a reasonable doubt that the aggravating factors outweigh any mitigating factors. If you do so, you will be required uh, to uh, give the death sentence uh, to the defense. With a guilty verdict behind them and the sentence seen ahead, the family inches towards their quest to get justice for Sierra. The jury is on recess until the Monday after Easter Sunday when they begin the sentencing phase. Reporting at the Fulton County Courthouse, I'm Viviana Hurtado, WTOL 11 News.